this video, I'm going to show you basically how to do simple recoding of data, um, creating new variables, and um, creating revising value labels. So I'll show you those basics in this video. Um, here we're starting with a, a data set I created in an earlier video to show you what it looks like. I'll type up browse here. You can see this is the data that I've typed in and used. You can recreate this data set. Um, or, or use any fictional data set if you want to follow along. All right, so I've got a gender, a pretest, and a postest for 10 fictional individuals. What I'm going to do here first is um, show you how to recode um, a variable. So let's look at the um, gender. If we use a codebook command, we can see how that's um, coded. Right now, you see we have one male two female. Great. Maybe I want it to be zero male, one female. That's often what you would do if you're doing, say, a simple linear regression with this variable as one of the independent variables, um, and we wanted it coded the best possible way for that, which would be zero male, one female. Okay, there's a variety of ways we can do it. Of course, I could just subtract one from all the values. There's, there's a lot of things I could do here, but right, I'm going to show you how to simply recode. What we're going to do is we actually use the recode command. Fairly straightforward. Type the name of the variable. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is tell it how I want to recode. The way you do that is you use parentheses, and at first inside the parentheses, I give the old value equals new value. One becomes it equals a zero, two equals one. So, and I can list, do a whole bunch at once for that particular variable. I could also list several variables here if they all needed the same recoding. Then I could list a, a whole, whole bunch of them here. But in this case, it's just the one variable, and I'm going to change the values this way. Now, it's always old value, then new value. The way I remember it is I think of the equal as saying becomes. So, one becomes a zero, two becomes a one. I hit that, hit enter. Okay, it tells me 10 changes were made, which is correct. Let me look at my code book now to see what it says, okay? All right, this is what we see. You see it still thinks that one's a male, all right? And it doesn't think the zero is anything because I've assigned a labeling scheme to this variable that tells it that um, one is male, two is female. It doesn't know automatically to change the labels. Um, to a zero male, one female. So I have to change that labeling scheme. On a prior video, I showed how to use within the edit window how to create labels. But I'm going to show you how to do it with coding in this particular video. What we want to do is <coughs> first we want to create a new labeling scheme. This new labeling scheme is a scheme in which zero is male and one is female. I'm going to create the labeling scheme, and then my second step is I apply it to this variable. So there's always two steps to labeling values. The first thing I'm going to do is create this, this scheme by using lab def. This stands for label define. Remember, we can usually use three letters as short for a, a longer um, command. So lab def is label define, okay? Now I'm going to give a name to this labeling scheme. Um, so maybe I want to say, call this um, gender um, label two. Okay, you can call it whatever you want that you can remember. It doesn't matter. We're not creating a variable here. Don't use one of your variable names or you'll be confused. This is the actual name of the scheme. I usually use capitals for labeling schemes just to distinguish them from actual value um, variable names, okay? So that's the first thing I do, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in zero. I just type the name of the value and tell it what that should be. And then I say one and tell it what that should be, okay? Just like that. Zero is male, one female. There's no equals, there's no parentheses, nothing. It looks like that. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is apply that labeling scheme to my gender variable. Okay, so the way I do that is I'd use this lab 
val, okay? Labels, values. So I'm going to, um, that's how I apply it to my variable, okay? So I do that, and then the first thing I put in is the name of my variable, and the next thing I put in is the name of the speed. So, um, label the values in the gender variable to this way, using this speed. If you get these two backwards, sometimes I do, it'll give you an error and then you just fix it. Okay, now let's look at codebook gender to see if it looks right. And of course it looks right. Um, so we've done it correctly. So that's how you um, change value labels or add val new value labels to something that doesn't have any at all, is using that process to type them in by hand. All right, so, so that's, that's one process here. We've, we've recoded a variable. We've changed value labels to match, um, to make them what we would like them to be. Okay, the next thing that we're um, going to do here is we're going to create a new variable. Well, there's a variety of ways to create a new variable. Um, right now, we're going to do it using some arithmetic process. Um, for example, I'm going to create a new variable. Maybe that's the difference between the post-test and the pre-test scores, just as an example. So, in order to do that, I use the gen command, that means generate. Generate um, creates a new variable, so gen for short for generate. And then I give it a new um, a name. Maybe I'm going to call it differences. Okay, it's quite long, but that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to put um, equals, and I'm just going to put post, test, minus pretest. So um, in this case, it's just a simple, straightforward arithmetic. This is a good process to use if maybe you have a variable for sum of a bunch of other variables, okay? Then you could add them together using this process. This is the most basic way is just to write it as an arithmetic equation. And when I hit that, you'll see that it shows it up here. I don't have any label. That's something I could add later if I want to but it's not really essential. So I've got that there. Maybe I want to look at it to make sure that it looks correct like it should. Okay, I have some negative differences because there were a few people who, who went less on their score, okay? I could look at a histogram of that, okay, to see how they look. Basically, I've, I've created a new variable, all right? Um, so, so that's the, the basics, okay, recoding, creating new variables, um, variety of ways this um, might be used in practice. Um, but for the most part, you need to think in terms of if I recode, make sure that your, your value labels now match your recoding and so forth.